GBTV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. talk about some of the traditions that people will be celebrating this winter season, especially over our break. The first holiday we wanted to talk about is Hanukkah. Hanukkah is an eight-day holiday typically celebrated by the Jewish community. Each day for the span of Hanukkah, families will light one candle on the menorah. Other traditions involve eating latkes, singing songs, and playing games with spinning tops called the dreidel. The second holiday we're going to be talking about is Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a holiday based on African harvest festivals that focuses on family and unity as a people. Along with lighting the candles on the Kinara, people often celebrate by dressing in traditional clothes and using fruits and vegetables to decorate their homes. The third holiday we're talking about is Christmas. Christmas has lots of traditions associated with it. Many celebrate the spiritual side and follow the story of the nativity, ending with the birth of Christ. Others follow the traditions involved with Santa and hang stockings above their fireplace and set up trees so that Santa can leave presents for all the good children. Many families combine traditions and start new ones altogether. The last holiday we're talking about today is Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year may fall after our break, but it is still a holiday that is celebrated worldwide. Chinese New Year can also be referred to as the Spring Festival. The holiday focuses on removing the bad and old and welcoming all of the new and good things that the year will bring. Celebrations involve the famous lion and dragon dances, as well as other festival activities. Cleaning and refreshing are also large themes of the holidays, and many other traditions include the famous red envelopes filled with money for good luck passed from the older members of the family down to the Youngers. There are a lot of holidays celebrated around this time of year, but we just picked four to talk about today. And if you're ever curious, you can do research on your own. Over the years, people have adapted a variety of traditions into something new and different. Though we may not all celebrate the season the same way, and some of us not at all, one thing remains constant. Time with loved ones is a gift to be treasured above all. We hope the season treats you well and that over break you celebrate old traditions or create new ones. Happy holidays, everyone, and we hope to see you in the new year. I'm Tom Lemaster, and this is my 16th year, and I teach chemistry here. I'm really family oriented. Uh, somebody that likes to be around people, likes to go outdoors, um, work in my yard. Got two sons and a wife and a dog, and love to go camping and do stuff around the yard. Um, take the kids to the water park and everything, just do things with the kids and uh, take them to their hockey games. I like to help people, and I like to see when uh, people, and students specifically, get that aha moment of when all of a sudden they get the idea, especially when they've come to the conclusion on their own with guidance. I like to see when people come up with ideas and help to everybody be uh, more educated with the world around them. A couple of months ago, I was at a uh, Grand Rapids Griffins game, and I ran into a student that I had 15 years ago, and he told me that I encouraged him to get into science field, or science field, and it was just really great to see somebody 15 years later, and he's now like 32 years old, and just to see that little bit of interest grow. Uh, COVID, <laughs> it started off as just couldn't get a haircut, and then it turned into, I've never had really long hair, so let's give this a shot. Um, and then it got long enough where I decided I kind of needed to donate it, and uh, Jacobson loved it. Some of the students liked it, and my wife not so much, so at one point I eventually just had to cut it, but. Chemistry is a very different type of subject that many people have a difficult time in the fact that it's something that you can't see. It's an abstract idea. This class is all about inquiry, so be open-minded to trying to discover and learn through asking questions. Um, the most important thing to me as a teacher is making sure that everybody feels comfortable and safe in the environment that they're in and in a good learning environment to grow.
What's up, GB? This is Student Interaction with Cash. Bravo. Suhan. And Cam. What you doing over winter break? Um, working for the Salvation Army. That's good, that's good. What you doing for winter break? Um, I'm staying at home. I'm sleeping in. Period. So what you got going on for winter break? Probably just hanging out with family and friends. Got you, got you. The ballad. That's it? Yep. Have fun, man. What you doing over winter break? Ew! Jerry, what did you say you were going to do over winter break? I ain't say nothing, bro. Uh, open presents. Same All thing. Right. Same thing. <laughs> bro, what are you doing for winter break? Uh, probably going to hang out with my friends and family. Might go to Chicago with my dad for a week. Have some fun, you know? What about you? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's boring. Chilling like a villain. Wait, what's that one song? <laughs> Chilling like a villain. What you doing for winter break? What? What you doing for winter break? What am I doing for winter break? Yeah. Bro, you already know what I'm doing, bro. Milk and cookies, milk and cookies, bro. All right, bro. So what you got going on for winter vacation? Uh, I'm going to go hang out with my brother and listen to Three Man Freestyle by All So, yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. Lewis, what you got going on for winter vacation this year? Just a whole lot of sitting around watching football. That's awesome. All right, man, what are you doing over winter break? I'm fun to play Fortnite, grinding with the boys, you know what I'm talking about. What are you doing for winter break? Oh, um, nothing really much. I'm just going to be spending time with my grandpa, you know, all that type of stuff. But, you know, I hope other people have a good time on you know, winter break as well. Great. Yeah. Trevor, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. What you got going on for winter break? Presents. Presents? Yeah. Doing anything? Going anywhere? Top golf. Awesome. Have fun. Thank you. All right, what are you doing for winter vacation this year? I am grading all of the late work that all my students love to give me two weeks late. Oh, nice. Yeah. What you got planned this winter vacation? I'll probably just play a lot of Fortnite and just chill out. Yeah. Valid. What you got planned this winter vacation? Probably catching up on my sleep. What are you doing for winter break? Oh, my God. Taking a chill pill. Yeah, I'm chilling. What you doing for winter break? Asleep. And takes you. What are you doing for winter break? Got you. Uh, I'm going to go chill with the ladies and uh, go have a little fun. But sometimes I like to uh, play basketball and play Roblox and all that type of stuff. Dude. You're just lying. <laughs> and sometimes I play Powerpuff Girl Jiggin' Mine 5000. If you ain't got Powerpuff Girl Jiggin' Mine 5000, you is not it. But you is not it. Please. Uba, 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 uba. I see him, like, I feel on the spot. Winter break is coming up, right? Mm. What will you guys be celebrating? Christmas. Christmas with my fam. Hopefully with Cash, too. Pause. Bro, it, 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 it doesn't have to be like that. You just make it weird. A new verse. I have a lie detector here. <laughs> a lie detector? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay. Do you like... Hmm? What? Do Go ahead. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't. Like, I really don't. <laughs> sure, sorry, I don't. Yeah. That's why your cheeks are red. That's why you were blushing yesterday when you brought no, back. You guys embarrassed me yesterday. Let's take it outside. Right. Let's go. Um, well, I guess that's it. So how do you feel about the new crossing path? So I'm super excited for the new crossing pass when we have two of them because it is going to be nice to have them all redone, repaved, and nice. It's a little frustrating only having the one for sure, especially with it being the lower path because um, it's not the more convenient of the two options. It's, it's a necessary evil to get to the end game outside of, of all the construction being done. How do you think students are feeling about the crossing path? Uh, well, I know that students are probably frustrated. You know, it's a little extra time outside. Number one, it's a little bit confined. It's not a, you know, with only having one path, you don't have as much space necessarily. And it's the time of year where it's starting to get cold. So I know that every year people in the winter, you know, the cold is real. And the part is frustrating for people some days, especially when it's cold and windy. Um, I think that the path builds some character, hopefully. So, uh, you know, a little, bit of, a little bit of challenge, a little bit of perseverance is a good thing. But again, I keep track of the big picture, right? Which is all of the new facilities that we'll have when, when the work is done outside will be great. And we'll be back to the old days of, of two paths and 
you know, a little more room to move around when you're out there, and all those things I think will be good. Um, we just got to get through through this phase, which is all the construction work that's taking place. Um, how do you feel about the new cross the path? It sucks. It's terrible. I hate it. How do you feel about the new crossing path? I love it. How do you feel about the new crossing path? I absolutely hate the new crossing path. I wish we didn't have it. People walk even slower. People are more rude. Absolutely hate it. How do you feel about the new crossing path? Uh, I really think the new crossing path has some much needed improvement, but I like it. Pretty neat. Once everything is complete out there, you guys will really like it too. Hey guys, it's Maddie and Aspen and Anna and we're making gingerbread houses for the holiday season But this time we added a fun twist and every five minutes we switched houses. Okay, first of all, can we talk about what is this? It's the tray. Oh, that's comes an easy build it. tray for you, dear. What is this? It's the side. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't know. The door. This is so What is that? Oh, guys, I'm so confused. That's the roof. Okay, so you make the thing, right? Then you break them off. You put the door, then these two go like that. And so then this... Hey, I'm Ella. And I'm the other Ella. That'd be a really great name for a show. Oh, and by the way, we're starting a show. It's a show about anything, but not everything. Come on, we'll show you the set. Uh, wait, set's not ready yet. All right, cross move me right quick. I need somebody to cross with. Although it may not really look like winter out here, just remember to enjoy your winter break. Whatever you celebrate, celebrate that. Have fun with your families. Have fun by yourself, if you will. Just remember to take that time for yourself. Relax, rest, rejuvenate, and come back ready to finish out this semester strong. Hey, who's that? Uh, this week's song of the week is I'm the Grinch by Tyler the Creator. It just happens to be my favorite holiday song right now, and I've been bumping it about all week. See you guys. Yeah.